What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do the easy teal and orange LUT look inside Premiere Pro without any plugins. Let's get started. So to get started I have a shot of some kayakers here and we're going to color grade them by using the teal and orange look. To first get started go down to your new item button click on it and go to adjustment layer. Make sure they match the source settings of your sequence and click OK. We're going to apply the grade to this adjustment layer over the original clip. So click and drag it to your timeline and extend it for the length of the clip. Next click on the adjustment layer then go up to your workspaces buttons and be sure to click on color. This will enable the Lumetri color panel and you should see this. If you don't see this go up to window, Lumetri color, then untroll and go down to color wheels and match. And this is where we'll begin. We'll first mess with the shadows color wheel and move the center point to the blues to make the shadows more blue and tealish. Then we'll go over to the highlight section color wheel and we'll move this to more of the orange yellowish type of look. So what this is doing is it's introducing more orange into the highlights, the lighter parts of the image, and it's introducing more blues into the shadows or the darker parts of the image. You can also mess with the midtones. I usually go with a little bit to the orange yellow side. And then you'll notice these sliders next to the color wheels. You can change this to affect the luminance of each of the different parts of the image. So you can pull down on the shadows to make the shadows darker and you can pull up on the highlights to make the highlights brighter. This is really personal preference and it really depends on your own shots, but this is looking pretty good here. You can see the difference by checking and unchecking this checkbox. You can see that we're almost there. To refine this a little bit more, go back into basic color correction. You can add some more contrast by increasing the contrast slider. You can also mess with the highlights and shadows to get more fine tune. You can also add more saturation if you'd like. You can also pinpoint the saturation by going into the curves tab and then scroll down to hue versus sat. Move the slider so that you're over the blues and then make some points. You can click and drag from the center to really start messing with the saturation of the blues and the oranges. Feel free to mess with these settings to get it to kind of how you'd like for your own image. Depending on your own image, your results will vary, but these are the steps that you'd want to take to get the teal and orange look. So that's how you do this effect. Now there are a few LUTs that you can use as well that kind of do a very similar effect. And if you are curious, I put together a video going over my favorite free LUTs that I use all the time as a video editor. I'll link that right up there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.